Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. I'm Nick. Today I'm going to be doing another one of these product reviews. I've been doing uh, some of these lately. People have been kind of sending me stuff, which is always kind of cool. I'm always on, on the lookout for new and interesting products, but today I'm going to be checking out the record roller. There's a bunch of links down below. Make sure you go check all those out. There's links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group, for the merch page, for the Spotify and Apple Music weekly playlist we put together, and also the Patreon page. Make sure you go check all that out. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new episodes. So several weeks back, I did a review on the uh, the Vinyl Vac, which I thought was kind of a cool and interesting way to clean your, your records. And then uh, they reached out to me again. They were like, hey, you know, if you're looking at, uh, if you want to check out some new products, we'll send you this uh, this record roller. So they sent me this. This is a complete four-in-one record cleaning kit. I'm going to check this out because, especially when it comes to cleaning records, you know, I'm always looking for, you know, generally what I use for, for most of uh, my record cleaning is the groove washer. I've used the groove washer for, you know, I'd say probably the last three, four, four years, something like that, and love it. But I'm always looking for something different. Uh, you know, I haven't gotten into bigger systems like uh, the spin clean or anything like that yet, even though I probably should. But, you know, the, the groove washer works perfectly fine for me. So I want to see how this thing compares. I've seen other uh, videos and other reviews on it. It looks kind of interesting. But uh, like I said, I want to see how this compares to, to, to my groove washer. So I got this old copy of uh, Woodstock here. I actually had a hard time finding a dirty album in my collection to clean. I tend to do a pretty good job cleaning them, but I picked this one up a few years back from Dearborn Music here in Dearborn, Michigan, and I never got around to playing it, so I'm sure I never cleaned it either. So this is actually a, probably one of the dirtier albums that probably in my collection. It's got old Alma's Hi-Fi Stereo uh, custom record sleeve that it's in which is uh, it's something I haven't seen one of those in a very, very long time. Pull it out of the sleeve here. Um, you know, it might be kind of hard to see on the camera, but there's quite a bit of dirt and debris, especially along the outer edges of this one. Let's see if I can get a good shot on there. Maybe you can see it better. But like I said, this is a, it's pretty dirty. Definitely got a lot of debris, especially like over there. It's got a whole lot. So I should add that uh, even though Record Roller gave me, you know, sent this to me free of charge, all the opinions in this video, of course, are mine and mine alone. Um, you know, I will give you, I'll always, like with any review video I do, I'm always going to give you my honest opinion on, on these products. This is what uh, the package looks like. I'll go ahead and open this up. I did cut the tape on there. I didn't want to sit there and fuss with it on the video. Pull this out. So it comes with this nice uh, anti-static brush, which is pretty standard. Yeah, I, I use one of these pretty pretty regularly, but uh, just kind of nice to have a, another one. This is your little needle brush, which I, I've got a really nice one that came with my groove washer, so I probably won't use that. But, uh, you know, it's definitely a, a, a nice addition to have. The big thing, of course, the one I'm looking at uh, checking out, of course, is the uh, the record roller itself. comes with this nice cloth you can put down and clean your record on. So I think there's a couple of, so I think there's a couple of big points to make in the instructions for this. First off, you're not going to use any pressure, so you're not going to be pushing down on the album. And the other big thing is you want to make sure you inspect it for any kind of, like, hard debris because you don't want it to get stuck on the roller here and then possibly damage the, the record as you as you pass it along there. So it comes with this nice little, little case on there you can take off and kind of leave that uh, for whenever you need it. And it looks like there's a piece of outer paper on here you gotta pull off. There we go. All right, we're just gonna make some passes around the record here. extra passes and you can see on the K 
camera there, I mean, that pulled up a lot of dirt. A lot of dirt. And this thing is pretty, at least uh, from the uh, from the instructions, it looks to be pretty simple to clean. You just take some warm water, washed off in warm water, and let it dry. Any, like, big pieces of debris you want to, like, knock off. I clean it, put it back in your case, and then that's all you do. But, uh, yeah, as you can see on the camera there, that pulled up a lot. And then you can see, just by looking on the record, I mean, that looks pretty, pretty darn clean. I don't see any kind of dirt or debris that I left on there. I'll flip it over and do the other side. Still not using any pressure or anything. You're just kind of rolling it around on there. Pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I, uh, I think that's pretty good. I actually like that. That's, uh, I can definitely see myself using that uh, that record roller pretty often. It's a, a really quick and easy way to kind of give it a nice, quick clean. Obviously, if it's any like, if there's heavy dirt on there, heavy debris, probably going to want to wash it. If it's just like light dirt on there, I think it's a really great tool to use to clean your records. The one quick thing I'll say about the stylus brush is... I probably won't use this one very often, uh, just because I've got a really nice one that came with my groove washer. But what, if you ever do use a stylus brush, you always want to make sure you pull it towards you when you're cleaning your stylus. You never want to go back against the tone arm. So just one of those quick and easy things, just kind of, you know, just an extra, another one of those tools that uh, I think a lot of us have that uh, we probably just don't utilize as much as we, as we probably should. And then just a quick, quick rinse in hot water and as you can see it uh, cleaned it off pretty good so i will say if you're interested in this four-in-one kit it runs about 30 bucks from uh from record roll or from vinyl vac i'll put a link in the description down below if you want to check it out well as you can see from the video it actually did a pretty good job i was actually pretty pretty happy with it uh, i can definitely see myself using this really i guess in conjunction with my with my groove washer this kind of does a little different kind of cleaning system to it but i like that it comes with the extra brushes and the towels and things like that so you know it's really kind of cool like i said i gotta add that to my to my cleaning repertoire i guess i can say and uh you know it's something that you can use just kind of quick to kind of wipe off uh, and not have to get out the you know groove washer brush and the cleaning fluid and that kind of stuff. So it's definitely something I'm going to use more often. I uh, I highly recommend the product. I think it's really kind of cool. And uh, but uh, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried the record roller? You know I, I've seen other reviews and other people on there that uh, on on YouTube on social media that really kind of like it. So I think it's kind of a, a cool kind of gadget. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace.